dear students i would like to discuss the nephloxetic series and raka parameters myself dr dikna vargis according to christopher theory the splitting of d orbitals is a result of electrostatic effects and that of the bonding between the metal and ligand is ionic with no covalent character the christopher theory we have already discussed and there are several experiments and semi theoretical arguments that can be presented against this assumption the nephloxetic effect is a term used in the inorganic chemistry of transition metal ions the presence of this effect brings out the disadvantages of christopher theory as this accounts for somewhat covalent character in the metal ligand interaction nephloxetic effect indirect evidence that electrons are shared between the ligands and the metal ion comes from the nephloxetic effect this accounts for somewhat covalent character in the metal ligand interaction according to christopher theory there is only ionic character in the metal ligand interaction for the formation of complexes but nephloxetic effect accounts there is some covalent character in the metal ligand interaction the name nephloxetic comes from the greek word and its meaning is cloud expanding that was proposed by the danish chemist ck jorgensen it is found that the electron electron repulsion in complexes is somewhat less than that in the free ion during complex formation the electron electron repulsion is somewhat less than the electron electron repulsion in the free ion the observed decrease in electronic repulsion that occurs upon bond formation may be attributed to an effective increase in the distance between electrons that results when metal and ligand orbitals combine to form larger molecular orbitals in the case of dx square y square orbitals when the the extension of the lobes of the d orbitals that is the expansion of the d orbitals d electron charge cloud during the complex formation with metal ion that is known as actually the nephloxetic effect in the case of free metal ion the d orbitals are small in size in which the when the ligand approaches the electron electron repulsion in complexes or the free ion than the free ion is somewhat lesser this is due to the fact that during bond formation a decrease in electronic repulsion by the increase in the distance between the electrons that can be result when the metal and the ligand orbitals combine to form larger molecular orbitals that is the electron electron repulsion decreases due to the increase in the distance between the electrons so after or during the complex formation inter electronic repulsion between the metal and the ligand decreases when compared to the free metal ion that is actually the nephloxetic effect once again i will explain what is nephloxetic effect in the case of a free metal ion the dx square y square orbitals and dxy orbitals 
is shown here in for free metal ion there is t2g orbitals dxy dxz and dyz and for eg orbitals dx square y square and dz square is there the in the case of free metal ion the lobes are very small and the electrons in these orbitals are somewhat very closer to each other that is that means the distance between the electrons is smaller therefore there is some inter electronic or electron electron repulsion is happens when the ligand approaches to the metal ion during complex formation the lobes of the d orbitals actually expanding that is the d electron cloud is expanding here this means that the size of the orbitals increases as the ligand approaches to the metal ion this is actually known as nephloxetic effect the greek word nephloxetic means the cloud expanding that is actually the d electron cloud expands here after the expansion the d size of the d orbitals increases so the electron electron repulsion is somewhat lesser here because electron electron the distance between the electron electron is increases so that the interelectronic repulsion decreases and the expansion and by the expansion of the d orbitals it is much closer to the ligand orbitals and therefore some proper overlap occurs between the ligand and the metal d orbitals we know for covalent bonding a proper overlapping is necessary so the nephloxetic effect gives an indirect evidence for the covalent bonding exist between the metal and ligand this could not be explained by the crystal field theory crystal field theory only explains there is only electrostatic force of attraction between the metal and the ligand system nephloxetic effect means the when the case of free metal ion there is some electron electron repulsion occurs due to the small size of the orbitals when the ligands approaches the metal ion the d electron cloud expands that means the size of the orbitals increases by the expansion of the d orbitals which penetrate the ligand met ligand orbitals so there is a proper overlapping between the metal and the ligand occurs and forms a new bond metal ligand bond and by this the interelectronic repulsion also decreases about 20 to 25 percentage decrease in interelectronic repulsion by this effect under the influence of the ligands expanded d electron cloud penetrates into the ligand orbital hence overlapping occurs now electrons of the d orbitals more delocalized in this orbitals the electrons are more delocalized and delocalization is the is also a characteristics of the covalent bond the ligands that are most effective in delocalizing metal electrons display the largest values of the nephloxetic parameter h h means a nephloxetic parameter by the ligands 
which gives the most effective in delocalizing metal electrons that value represented by the nephiloxetic parameter h the total nephiloxetic effect in a complex say mxn is proportional to the product of hx and km km is another parameter from this table we can see the nephiloxetic parameters of ligands and metal ions for the ligands that is represented by the nephiloxetic parameter h and for the metal ion the nephiloxetic parameter is k for fluoride ion the nephiloxetic parameter is 0.8 and water 1 urea 1.2 Ammonia 1.4, ethylene thiamine 1.5, oxalate 1.5, chloride 2, cyanate 2.1, bromide 2.3, azide 2.4, iodide 2.7. That is the value of the ligands. H is in between 0.8 to 2.7. And for the metal ion, the K parameter value is. in between 0.07 to 0.7 that is for manganese 2.07 vanadium 2.1 nickel 2.12 molybdenum 3.15 chrom for chromium 3.20 iron 3.24 rhodium 3.28 and iridium 3.28 cobalt 3.33 platinum 4.6 and palladium 4 0.7 from the data derived from electronic spectra of complexes separate nephiloxetic series may be set up for the metal ions and for the ligands indicating the order of decreasing electron electron repulsion or increasing the nephiloxetic effect ligands the list shown below in list some common ligands showing increasing nephiloxetic effect the series starting from fluoride to iodide in between water ammonia ethylene thiamine chloride cyanide bromide acid etc ligands are there the the parts of the series say may seem quite similar to the spectrochemical series for example the position of the ethylene thiamine fluoride cyanide is somewhat similar but the position of the bromide iodide chloride is occupy very different positions the ordering roughly reflects the ability of the ligands to form good covalent bonds with metals in this series some have a small effect to form covalent bonds and some have a high effect to form or larger effect to form covalent bonds the smaller effect to form covalent bonds are at the start of the series and the large effect are at the end of the series for the central metal ion the nephiloxetic effect does not only depend upon the ligand type but also upon the central metal ion these two can be arranged in the order of increasing nephiloxetic effect as follows in the case of uh, metal ion series nephiloxetic series the manganese 2 is at the lower side and the manganese 4 at the end of the series manganese 2 in between this nickel 2 cobalt 2 molybdenum 2 arrhenium 4 iron 3 iridium 3 and cobalt 3 we have already seen the series for nef nephiloxetic series for ligand and central metal ion once again i will show the nephiloxetic series of ligands that is from fluoride to iodide and nephiloxetic series of metal ions that is from manganese 2 to manganese 4 how can we determine the nephiloxetic effect that is from an important parameter known as raka parameters and the term raka is by 
the great scientist Galileo Racca. He was an Italian physicist and mathematician. He was the acting president of the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. And the Racca parameter representing the inter-electronic repulsion term that is we can see from Bustin Tanabe Sugano diagram that you are already studied in Tanabe Sugano the diagram for D3 system or D3 configuration in this A4 of term and it will split into 4A2, 4T2 and 4T1 and other terms are also here and between there is some lines are shown here all the terms are split into different energy levels and between these two lines the some energy difference is there due to electron electron repulsion that is actually the inter electronic repulsion that is calculated by the in this by this we can calculate the Raka parameters okay Raka parameters the nephloxetic effect refers to a decrease in the Raka inter-electronic repulsion parameter given by the simple B that occurs when a transition metal free ion forms a complex with ligands they are often used in transition metal chemistry to describe the repulsion energy associated with an electronic term when an atom has more than one electron there will be some electrostatic repulsion between those electrons. The amount of repulsion varies from atom to atom depending upon the number and spin of the electrons and the orbitals they occupy. The total repulsion can be expressed in terms of three parameters A, B and C which are known as the Raka parameters after Galileo Raka who first described them they are generally obtained empirically by from the gas phase spectroscopic studies of atoms for example the interelectronic repulsion of a 3 p term is a plus 7 p and for a 3 f term is a minus 8 p and the difference between them is therefore 15 B. The decrease in the Raka parameter B indicates that in a complex there is less repulsion between the two electrons in a given doubly occupied metal D orbital than there is in the respective Mn plus gaseous metal ion which in turn implies that the size of the orbital is larger in the complex that we have seen in the case of nephloxetic effect this electron cloud expansion effect may occur for one of two reasons first reason is that the effective positive charge on the metal has decreased because the positive charge of the metal is reduced by any negative charge on the ligands the d orbital can expand slightly first reason is that the effective positive charge on the metal has decreased due to the effect of any negative charge on the ligands the d orbitals can expand slightly the second reason is that the act of overlapping with the ligand orbitals and forming covalent bonds increases in orbital size because the resulting molecular orbital is formed from two atomic orbitals that is a covalent bond is formed by the overlapping of the metal and the ligand orbitals in this case metal the orbital is in the expanded form so that a proper overlapping occurs the reduction of B from its free ion value is normally reported in terms of nephloxetic parameter beta another term nephloxetic parameter beta beta is calculated by 
an equation beta is equal to B complex divided by B free ion. B means the interelectronic repulsion term. Experimentally, it is observed that the size of the nephilocytic parameter always follows a certain trend with respect to the nature of the ligands present. Once again, I will tell you how we can determine the nephloxetic effect. In tanabe sugano diagram, the different terms of a configuration have different energy due to interelectronic repulsions. The interelectronic repulsion which carries the bending of lines is expressed in terms of Raka parameters say A, B and C. A, B, C as a empirical quantities that can be obtained from the gas phase atomic spectroscopy. In this, B represents the interelectronic DD repulsion and it is sufficient to evaluate the energy difference of states of same multiplicity. So, in the case of nephloxetic effect, this B term is necessary that only represents the interelectronic DD repulsion. And nephloxetic ratio beta can be calculated by the B value as follows that is beta is equal to B dash by B. B dash means the Raka parameter for complex and B means Raka parameter for free metal ion. For the correct or nephloxetic effect occurs the beta value should be less than 1. That means beta is always lower value. If this nephloxetic ratio is having low value, this means that the B, B dash, the interelectronic repulsion becomes lower value. That means in the case of the B means there is some repulsion in the free metal ionic state and for B dash the for uh, the that is the Raka parameter for complex in this the interelectronic repulsion is lesser this means that the expansion of cloud D electron cloud occurs that is correspond to the nephloxetic effect and so this value is interelectronic repulsion term is decreased this means that beta value is less than 1 that is nephloxetic effect increases and the covalent character also increases that means the B value decreases means the nephloxetic effect increases the covalent va character increases p value means the interelectronic repulsion term factors affecting nephloxetic ratio nephloxetic ratio is beta is equal to b dash by b b decreases nephloxetic effect increases covalent character increases b b dash decreases nephloxetic effect decreases covalent character also decreases and the nephloxetic series we, uh, we have already seen that is from fluoride to iodide we know the nephloxetic ratio can be calculated from the equation beta is equal to b dash by b b dash means uh, interelectronic repulsion for uh, complex and uh, B means interelectronic repulsion for the or Raka parameter for the free metal ion and we know the uh, as the interelectronic repulsion term decreases the nephloxetic effect increases that means uh, interelectronic repulsion decreasing means the cloud D electron cloud expanding and by uh, D electron cloud expanding means or a delocalization increases means the nephloxetic effect increases and therefore the covalent character also increases and here we can see the order of the nephloxetic series of the uh, ligands uh, that is from the starting uh, from the fluoride ion to the iodide ion 
as we uh, from the fluoride to iodide the nephloxetic value effect is increasing and therefore the covalent character also increasing cloud expansion increases and nephloxetic effect increases for that the beta value uh, for the small uh, covalent effect or lowest covalent character ligands having the highest beta value therefore the beta increases means nephloxetic effect decreases nephloxetic effect decreases this means that the b value b value is higher therefore the low nephloxetic effect is here and lowest cloud expansion occurs lowest delocalization there and lowest covalent character in the case of uh, at the end of the series that is for iodide ion the beta is the lowest value that is beta is always less than one that means the nephloxetic effect increases high nephloxetic effect and highest uh, cloud expansion and highest uh, covalent character okay for the metal ion series uh, we know that uh, uh, for manganese uh, 2 plus have the lowest uh, nephloxetic effect and uh, higher for mn4 plus and for this the for the same metal ion for the same lig for a given ligand the nephloxetic effect increases in this direction this means that uh, beta increases value increases in this direction and uh, be uh, in this direction for m4 plus at the uh, lower end of this particular series the beta value is less this means that nephloxetic effect is high cloud expansion is high covalent character is high if b dash and uh, uh, b is becomes equal the beta is equal to uh, becomes there is no covalent character it is 100 percentage ionic character but such cases is uh, not uh, reported because in in all the metal complexes there is some covalent character and evidence for covalence is uh, one evidence is from nephloxetic effect and one is from EPR electron paramagnetic resonance spectra we uh, when we are uh, taking EPR for the metal ion um, complex and uh, in this uh, we get the first uh, if we get the axial spectra only uh, if some hyperfine splitting is there that will give the evidence for the covalent nature of the metal complexes uh, there are two evidence for covalence uh, uh, bonding in metal complexes one is nephloxetic effect and the other one is EPR thank you